I suppose the, 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 the buck stops with the breeders really and that we're you know we're all guilty of overproduction. I think we everyone has to look at uh, what we're producing and how many we're producing. I think <clears throat> overall the market is good for horses, but I just think we're producing too many of them, to be perfectly honest. And unfortunately the ones we're producing um, are the lesser ones and there's no homes for them. I think there are um, I think there are many things the industry should be worried about, but I th obviously think overproduction is a huge, huge problem, and I think there are too many moderate mares being bred. Um, I think another huge problem is the um, overpricing of stallions. I think stallion fees are far too high, and um, too many people are bre overbreeding mares to very highly priced stallions, which obviously ultimately will lead to disappointment in the sales ring. Well, I've been banging on this about this when I was on the TBA, actually, and I, I'm absolutely really, really worried. I mean, we don't seem to learn from history. It's almost like Groundhog Day. We just go on and on repeating the same mistakes. And we've got to get to the breeders and explain to them that they have got to stop breeding from mares that really should not be bred from. Give them other jobs to do. I'm not asking them to cull them, but, you know, they can even do riding jobs or things. But... It's got to stop. We've got to take a moral stand about this and not keep breeding. There are not enough owners for these horses and not enough prize money. People cannot make ends meet. To a degree, it's largely out of our control. But yes, I mean, we, we try to balance supply and demand. Uh, the bloodstock industry uh, is, is no more immune to the basic rules of supply and demand than any other. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, look, you, you always have concerns if you think that supply is exceeding demand. Uh, there certainly were indications uh, that that may be a, a feature emerging towards the end of last year. And, uh, you know, but one does one's best to balance that. We've tightened up the numbers in, in books two and three, and uh, that was a conscious effort to try and make those sales more manageable and, and tailored to, to what we viewed as the... As the you know, the realistic demand out there and uh, let's hope we've we've got that right as I say that the, it's it's always it's always a difficult balance but uh, one that shouldn't be overlooked you know the the, the the issue of overproduction is definitely sneaking back in again uh, you know and it's been evident this year in sort of the lower end sales um, you know, and it, it's only when you sort of go through the barns and through the catalogues and you see the pages or the, you know, the mares that are being bred, um, some of them may not actually, uh, you know, sh may not actually fit the bill. Uh, you know, and if they're still in production or if they're still on the, you, you know, make up a good chunk of the, you know, the, the national broodmare band, uh, overproduction is definitely, definitely very evident. So, I mean, that's... That's a mayor owner's responsibility and a stallion master's responsibility to a point to, you know, sort of keep it in check and, uh, and make sure it doesn't get out of hand.